Hello everyone, I'm Nate, this is Dave, and we're the Library Sports Guys. Here today talking to you about the, about the book Wooden, A Coach's Life by Seth Davis, about legendary college basketball coach John Wooden. Now Dave, I think you and I both really enjoyed this book. What was something you really thought was great? There's a lot in that book about Coach Wooden, but the one thing that struck me was his attention to detail as a coach. He would spend good portions of his practices every day showing and reminding his players the correct way to do things, like how to put on your shoes and your socks the right way so you wouldn't get blisters. Sounds kind of minute, but he figured that if you didn't put your socks on the right way, you would get some blisters, and if you got blisters, you couldn't practice and you couldn't play. So a little detail became a major thing to him. Yeah, yeah, the, the attention to detail, that really sums up his coaching philosophy overall. Uh, you know, something I really enjoyed were the parts uh, dealing with the players. Uh, you know, you learn about a lot of players, Lou Alcindor, Bill Walton, Walt Hazard, Gail Goodrich, a lot of those names that you associate with UCLA basketball. Uh, but you learn about his relationship with those players and how he really was a coach and a teacher. And, I mean, that was it. He, he wasn't anyone's friend. He wasn't your father figure. There weren't a lot of warm fuzzies going on between him and his players. And at the time, a lot of his players were really turned off by that. But later on in life, they began to realize how, the lessons that he had taught them, how important that was, and began to reconnect with him, and which, which was really pretty cool. He was a man that sought out for advice in the lives later on in life. One of the things that struck me about that was a player had a quote that said, Coach Wooden was simply your coach, that he wasn't your dad and he wasn't your friend, he was your coach, and he took that job very, very seriously. Absolutely, yeah, very, very much a teacher and coach. Yeah, and th then, of course, there's the run of 10 national championships in 11 years, which was, com was and is completely unprecedented. It's incredible. He also coached for UCLA for 15 years before he won a national championship, which is kind of an oddity in and of itself. Yeah, you wouldn't see that a lot anymore. <laughs> Absolutely not. One of the things, to put that into perspective, <coughs> he started that run when I was in the fourth grade in 1964, and he finished that run in 1975 when I was a sophomore in college. It seems to be an awful long time. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't just seem to be. It was an awful long time. You know, again, you're, you're growing up knowing nothing other than UCLA winning national championships, basically. That's right, the blue and gold of the Bruins and a little, little grandfatherly looking man coaching on the bench. <laughs> That's right. Well, again, we really enjoyed uh, you know, Wooden, A Coach's Life by Seth Davis. If you're a college basketball fan, you would love this book. We encourage you to come in the library and pick up a copy. I'm Nate. This is Dave. We're the Library Sports Guys. Thanks for watching.